Welcome back, Forts fans, to game number five of the Forts Official Tournament 21 replay commentary here on Synergy Gaming TV. Let's introduce our players on the left-hand side. Playing Phantom, it is Blood Parasite. And his opponent on the right-hand side. Playing Moonshine, it is Geiger. Now, I can tell you right now from playing against Geiger when he uses Moonshine, we're going to see some crazy 20mm uh, cannons that are basically just going to disable everything now something i've learned about this strategy uh if that is what geiger's gonna do we're making a prediction here uh if he's gonna do that it's very important to make sure that you have at least a cannon uh mainly because the 20 mils um don't take out shields to my knowledge so uh to have a cannon in there to do all that kind of stuff is is really really good not to mention 20 mils don't do any extra damage when you're moonshine all they do is disable a bunch of stuff so you still need the cannons to come in and do the punching straight through there uh, but let's see what these guys are deciding to do here right now. Geiger going for that armory and Blood Parasite going for that workshop. He's just substantially further behind in terms of technology development, but we do have the additional resources. Now, this is one of the cool maps, Ledge Grab, which I uh, really like, is because you have two cores here, you don't need to do turbines that early. So you get to save a lot of resources on that, and you have double the generation of metal from the cores, and you have all of these extra mines. So there's a lot of metal resources. You can do some very, very cool and very very janky builds on this map oh, upgrade center coming here are we gonna see a mortar rush coming out of there you wouldn't really want to do an upgrade center unless you're gonna drop some mortars here he is using phantom though uh, ha, 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 ha. i see very very sneaky very very sneaky i like this i like this so he makes it look like he's doing mines and then he sells off one of the mines and puts in a launcher that is very very clever blood parasite coming in with the mind games that is what phantom strength is is mind games out the wazoo here but it's not going to matter too much when we see moonshine coming in in with these emp 20 mils now you can see here looking like uh, geiger's getting ready here he's going to build backwards and probably put his 20 mils right up in this area uh maybe so you're over top of the ground and it just makes it a lot stronger here looking like we're getting a little bit of extra gunners in here right now emp coming across and disabling that core such a huge radius on those EMPs crazy here but blood parasite just gonna put in a little bit of spacing no big deal uh, this is actually pretty good because it, it baits out a little bit of repair damage but all the resources here the blood parasite put in front of the base to space out the EMP from disabling his core is a lot excuse me a lot of extra resources all right launcher here I love this I love this so, again, as Phantom, though, one of the situations here, because these weapons are invisible, you could, in theory, put it here if you wanted to, but it would give your opponent a little bit more of an indicator that you uh, you don't have, uh, that, that you're just staying on four mines, which is very, very not common on this map. So, this way, it makes it look like you have five mines, and then this launcher is going to come out here in the middle of nowhere and do some damage here. Uh, look at this. Geiger already got two 20s down here. This is going to be absolutely devastating when these connect. Uh, a lot of resources coming in here. I like these extra gunners here. I'm not sure exactly what gave away um, what what uh, Blood Parasite was doing here and why Geiger has these extra gunners here. This is very interesting to see what he thought about. Um, one of Phantom's coolest features, in my opinion, is the ability to move stuff around. Uh, look at this. This is, uh, this is cool. So we're using Phantom's ability here for hidden portals. So the opponent typically can see where portals are made. It changes the bracing into a portal. So you can see when you're scouting at your opponent's base. Phantom, however, keeps these hidden. So uh, this is going to be a very cool opportunity for, for Blood Parasite to take advantage of Phantom here. Now, the reason we're using portals is because what's going to happen is this is going to come up. Instead of going, instead of coming up and then doing its little curvy thingy, it's going to come straight out and do some damage here. But Geiger, for some reason, knows exactly what's coming, and I don't know why. I'm not sure. I have. I don't have enough experience on this map to know exactly why Geiger has absolutely predicted what's coming. Uh, maybe he's seen this build before. Maybe he realizes that there isn't any weapons. Maybe he hasn't seen any harassment. I'm not exactly sure 
what the reasoning is here for this specific play. But Geiger is totally ready for this, and this is something Blood Parasite needs to get on board with right now because his his warhead is not going to connect. He needs to get something else in place ready to go. I like these exposed mortars here right now because they're hidden, they're cloaked. They can't be seen by Geiger until they fire. However, he's still picking out weapons. Blood Parasite here is picking out weapons that can be shot down by anti-air. So I'm not exactly sure why he's doing this. Or a portal out of here out of the bottom seems very strange as well. Um, why you would have the launcher come up and then out when you could just have it forward facing. Especially because these are invisible. Doing something like background bracing here to make it look like there's doors there and one of them be a portal. Not only that, but you could have multiple portals and then reconnect this with a little bit of APM up here, down here, so that you don't know which one is active and Geiger would have a hard time taking out the launcher. 20 millimeter cannon starting to come in here. The barrage has begun. Geiger starting to do some damage here. Blood Parasite is tanking like a boss. Look at that. Geiger's just like, I'll just shoot your turbines and call it a day. Now, keep in mind, Phantom doesn't allow your opponent to see through the Swiss cheese, so it looks like there's nothing there in the base. Or is that Spook? Phantom? Or Spook? Phantom does that. D don't they? I think? Or is that a mod? I can't remember now. I'm getting all confused. I've been playing so much modded forts lately. All right, Gunner's coming in here. So Geiger was able to absolutely predict what was coming here. This is not looking good for Blood Parasite. Great shot with the mortars, though. Although he doesn't have... There it is. There's the sandbag. I was like, he's not protected there at the moment. That was actually really, really good. Firing that warhead and then allowing these to hit. Mortars doing some damage here. Geiger tanking that full grunt to his face. Blood, blood, blood Parasite pops that active and fires the invisible weapons. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, Blood Parasite takes out the tower of 20 mils. What a shot! Uh oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good here. Blood Parasite absolutely crushing Geiger here at the moment. Whoa! Invisibility, silent weapons. This is absolutely insane here. Geiger's having a hard time dealing with his exposed core here right now. Blood Parasite's done 24% core damage to Geiger here at the moment. Can he come back from this one? Deal some damage to that, to that hit the hit the 20. Unbelievable! Blood Parasite! Crazy mortars are doing some damage here. Bonk. There's another one. Wow! What a game so far. This puts Blood Parasite in the lead by 24% core damage. Whether or not this is going to stay this way, we got uh, Geiger dropping in some batteries here to gain some additional resources. Totally and completely exposed 20 mil. Are they going to hit here with this next volley? And do we have the energy production needed to fire the warhead? Not that it's going to matter, but if we can burn out those gunners with the mortars, we should be able to get a free shot with that warhead here. Blood Parasite putting in some good stuff here. Geiger using the, excuse me, the turbine technique. Sells off his 20 mil because he knew he was, he was going to lose it there, so he gets the resources. Using that uh, turbine there to protect his, uh, protect his 20 mil there from the sniper shots. Blood Parasite. Coming in here pretty, uh, pretty hot and heavy with those mortars. Target painted. Fire the mortars. Fire the mortars. He needs to fire the mortars to bait out the AA. Uh, oh my god. Is he going to make it? What? 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 What was that? That was the worst RNG for Garys I've ever seen in my entire life. What was that? Oh my god. What a match. That was insane. What? Wow. Wow. Blood Parasite pulls off the victory against Geiger. What a match. Holy crap. I cannot believe that. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Blood Parasite versus Geiger. Phantom versus Moonshine.